Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today to unpack some of the latest data mines that are in the game. Um, and as a heads up too, this is probably going to be released later on in the Marvel Strike Force blog post, but we got some updates here that we can start unpacking in terms of what to expect um, and, and things to be aware of, especially with milestones and events. Having said that guys, it looks like Val is confirmed to be the featured monthly character for the month of July. So very similar to Korg and what we're doing um, in terms of the milestones for the month of June. Um, all the milestones feeding in and obviously adding points to the month long. Uh, it's going to be a similar case for Val, it looks like here. So you can see um, throughout the month of July, there's going to be separate milestones that earn points towards the Defender of Valhalla event. So that's going to be specifically featuring Val. Um, the specific events then, collecting gems of Satorek, Boots of Destiny, Helmet of Glory, Destroyer Gauntlet, Attorney's Cape, and Twilight Sword. So all these are going to be part of events that are going to be adding to it. So as you can see, um, this is going to be obviously adding to uh, the last Asgardian orbs and then milestones and so forth. So um, that's the rundown there, guys. So things to be aware of. Looks like uh, Val is featured for next month. So that's pretty much what we're going to be going through in terms of the events that come. There is going to be a July 4th uh, celebratory player frame. I do like how they've been adding this. It's been a nice little change to kind of uh, add some customization to our profiles and so forth. Good to see you there. Um, and then otherwise, yeah, we're well aware of the uh, Dark Dimension 6 that's coming up. So, I mean, uh, that's going to be coming early July. So pretty much the end of the month. The Hit the Lights event that we reviewed yesterday. This is going to be pretty straightforward, guys. As you recall, um, with the Hit the Lights event, that one specifically is just a combination of earning points in the milestone as well as um, opening gold orbs. So just scrolling down here to see if there's anything else that's new and different. Um, uh, changing the story. So we know uh, there's going to be an encouragement that's coming up. I think it's uh, a little bit over less than a week now actually. Um, and it's going to be coming up. It's kind of similar to what we saw with the incursion um, showcases before as well, where invaders were also part of it, and obviously building on top of each event um, after another. So just keep be on the watch for that. Um, the only downside with this one is usually, if you recall, there's a test drive difficulty that's meant to show us the, the full Bifrost team, so we can utilize that. And then there's the challenge and bonus difficulty. So with these ones, um, it's not gonna be free to play friendly because they do expect you to complete your Bifrost team at gear tier level. 15 plus as you can see here and then the bonus one you even need them at uh, five yellow stars so this is typically pretty hard unless um uh, you're paying for each character unlock and so forth but most of us aren't doing that so uh test drive will be good for just some uh testing of the characters hopefully there's some materials for us to earn but i mean i'm not expecting too much it's more so just to kind of showcase you know uh, pun intended there uh how the team is going to operate and and you know how they're going to be working together synergistically um, and then otherwise, yeah, uh, the, the, like I said, the showcase is coming up there. It's going to feature Val as well. As you can see here, uh, looks like there's a specific last Asgardian event. So um, this is kind of similar to what we saw with the showcase. This one specifically is featuring Val. So you can see combination of five Bifrost characters or uh, New Warriors. So this story difficulty um, ideally should give us some rewards. Uh, and then it's kind of similar to the one we just went through Bifrost. Um, you're going to have this challenge difficulty as well. So it looks like Val in combination with any four Bifrost or new warriors. However, they need to be at least gear tier 13. So if you're going to get Val's unlock here um, in the month, make sure you're, you're at least leveling at least to gear tier 13. So that way you can do the, the challenge difficulty. And it looks like there's going to be opportunities for 14, 15, and 17 armor 16 orb. So it's all going to help with Dark Dimension 6 preparation. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's, uh, other than that, uh, we were well aware of the Dark Dimension 6 breakdown here. So they're just kind of detailing that once again, reminding us it's gear tier 18. No traits for the first two, Global, Cosmic City, and then Legendary Non-Horseman, Legendary Apocalypse. So, uh, for the unlock of Super Scroll here. So that's pretty much it. That's a wrap, guys. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below if you guys are a fan of Val being featured for next month. Hopefully there's going to be some good, uh, shard opportunities, but generally what we've seen with these events then... Um, especially the month long ones, we can typically end up with a three star, maybe a four if there's more events that will have shards. But uh, well, what we've seen with Castro and Death Pool in the past, um, and obviously uh, more recently Spider Weaver, uh, that debacle with everyone getting the seven yellow, hopefully there's more shards to go around because uh, that was definitely me a game changing character. And obviously, the more shards, the better. Thank you as always. Do appreciate you guys checking my videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.